Hello my beautiful Cancer, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome, welcome to this channel. Now we are going to do a weekly reading for May 15th through to 21st 2023 for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. So please use your intuition to receive the right messages, right? It is going to be an interesting last two weeks of this month, but we are, this is a weekly reading, but I'm just saying that last two weeks of this month, May, it is going to be fire very very powerful powerful weeks it is going to be now we have jupiter goes into taurus on the 16th of may and it's going to stay there till end of uh end of may 2024 and of course and we have a new moon in taurus as well and mars is going in leo so there's a lot of interesting energies surrounding however jupiter is a planet that expands expands what is there either positive or negative so this is very important week for manifestation really focusing on things that you do want not what you don't want focus on things that work well for you and less about things that are not going for you at this time as well and it's interesting to have as well focus on things that are real not just wishy-washy but things that you can make change and influence right let's have a look what we're going to have for you this week have a look first at what kind of mood is around you right now? What kind of energy is around you right now? And then I'm going to have a look at recent past, uh, current situation, and of course, near future. Are you ready? Cancer, let's dive in. Judication. Interesting. There is some sort of uncertainty right now. Nothing is set in stone. It's interesting how this person, if you look here, he's not sure. He's not sure who is telling the truth. I don't see these people getting married in a courthouse, right? But it feels like, they're, and he has the knowledge. He has the details. He has the evidence. What I'm seeing here is, it's like a pause. Whether this person is going to make a decision for you, I can't tell. But there is something and I'm feeling here as well for some of you guys, it's like this. There is something up in the air. And there's always, as you know, her story, his story. And right in the middle, there is a truth. It feels like they are, you are waiting for the truth, like as if like for the second shoot to drop. There's some changes. Three is that there is angels and your guides around you at this period of time. Because it could be a very significant period of time where... This truth or this information, not this information, but this information can affect in long term. Because as well with the Jupiter and Taurus as well coming now here, it's going to be um, the mis making decisions. Things that are happening right now, whatever you are focusing right now, will affect in long term. So let's find out what is this about as well. Right, in the recent past, Cancer, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? Don't be strangers. Subscribe, like, and comment as well. Wow, we have a death card. We have the two swords. Interesting. Interesting. A lot of swords, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is inevitable change. Scorpio is here. Okay, when this card appears in one's reading, clearly first thing what everyone would say is transformation. But this is something has either there has laws been changed, some maybe someone has broken laws, okay, rules. And what is interesting, this is reminds me of you know, um if you look at in courthouses, usually there's a lady with blindfold and as if she has this the sword and the scales like Libra, right? Like, like the uh, justice, like making decision. As if like someone or you are making decision to act upon what you believe or you believed in or bring in the change. Because change is coming. Change is coming. Look at this little fella, little boy. He doesn't need the change because he's pure. But there has been some sort of lies 
or something along the lines. I, I, I need to clarify this because it feels like there was misinformation. There was something has been kept away from you. What is this about? What is this about? For cancer, let's clarify. Are you joking me? What is going on? Another Knight of Swords. Okay. This is... It's mystic, mysticism. And I think... <laughs> I have to say, you probably might agree with me, and some of you will. It felt like you can't put a finger to it, but something is off. As much as you try to unravel this other conflict or situation, finding out maybe about the person, finding about something. However, there is a message coming through that is going to give you some indication. But I feel like you're playing some detectives here. I'm not, I'm, I'm serious. Somehow, out of your, what I'm seeing for some of you guys, it might not resonate with everyone. As if like someone is searching some sort of missing piece. Could be missing person, missing money, missing uh, truth. Something is missing. It's like kind of like playing detectives, Miss Marple or whatever you call it. And finding out what is going on. Because there's a lot of action happening. You're really seeking the truth. You're seeking, you're going to find the truth. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that is crazy. Right, Cancer, let's have a look and write your current situation. Queen of Pentacles. Karma. And Gemini. Lovers. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And this is going to be like like completely different what happened before. Meanwhile, there's things happening. It feels like there's layers upon layers, things that are happening in your life right now. Now, it could be some of you are being brought together by work. Okay. This person coming in your life could be romantically, could be friendship wise, could be as a colleague, but something has really, you clicked, okay? And it feels like, yes, this is, feels good. And the monies, it could be as well, maybe some of you are partnering up, okay? Um, maybe um, partnering up on a business or partnering up or some sort of uh, working together alongside, doesn't matter. But it feels like there's a good connection. It's meant to happen. It feels as well with this relationship, it's entwined with money and relationship. Good money, working maybe together, maybe some partner person is coming. I will clarify because they got her. Because it feels like there is a it's it's kind of strange, odd feeling here. We have you have layers, different layers of situations going on in your life. And usually kind of tarot, this is a general reading, kind of would go for either love or a little bit of work or both, or you know, but this time it kind of feels like there's a lot of unexplained situations happening at the same time right right what is this about money and there we go i feel like some of you are actually meeting someone or dating someone or seeing someone who is very influential and or who has who is very established and has a status in their lives maybe this search Whatever you're searching, the truth has led you to this person. It feels like you this this meet the the meetup with this person, this the, whatever how you met this person was not a um, coincidence. It was meant to happen. Okay, and this person is very influential. They have a status in their lives, and they have money, and they um, they're very settled in ways um, as well. You know. And they're surrounded with people who have a great influence. So, well, if there is, you have angle for this person, I can't tell you. But it feels like this could be a very big benefit for you. That could give you a lot of 
positive uh, positive outcomes, right? In the near future. Five of wands. Eight of wands. Uh -huh. There we go. And that's your answer will be here. In the near future, you are Taurus this year. You are going to reach the truth. Could be coming by letter, could be coming by a conversation, okay? Because you're going to fight for something here. You're going to fight for that. And I feel like that this person here or a group of people or information that's going to come your way, um, it wasn't coincidence. They were put in your life, okay, for you to help to f help you. And with the high priest, it's, it's a ruling. There is authority involved. And it's going to come your way. It is definitely coming your way. There's a lot of... Uh, no, usually I would see that as a travel, but I'm feeling more, this is kind of more no response from other courts, response from authority, response from something like that is going to come your way and in your, in your favor. Right. I will have a look, a couple of clarifications here as well. Five of cups. You're feeling like, okay, seven of cups, two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. there will be a period of time where you feel like it could have gone either way and maybe you could get better outcome but don't push luck okay don't push luck your luck okay and be careful for what comes your way in a good ways and just quickly clarify this because it feels like even though it kind of goes your way you feel like it could have gone better Mm -hmm. it feels like tutus it could have maybe have done better and maybe still there's still something ongoing maybe someone is appealing something and uh, it could be there's some outstanding situation still and i don't see not for everyone but there's continuation here so it's not and done and dusted it could be going for some time but for now it's going away it's going away Right, let's have a look what angels and guides would like you to know right now, Cancer. What angels and guides would like you to pass a message for Cancer, please. Rest. And that's what you need. After this kind of energy that was happening this week, you definitely need to have a rest. Charge up your batteries, your body, mind and spirit. They all need a rest. Because you will need it for upcoming weeks. That's all I have for you today. Have a blessed week. Don't be strangers. Subscribe, like and comment as well. Blessings. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.